What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we have just gotten back from our little staycation at the cottage. The reason that I am so shiny is I just did like a full skincare pamper style routine all off camera. It felt good. Some things need to happen off camera, but it was just like the oils and the detox masks and all the good things. I've shared it before, so I can link that video down below, but it was the same process. I basically steam my face and then I use this like peel mask that just takes a layer off your skin in the best way possible and then I put my oil and I massage it into my face and it's amazing. So for today, I wanna to take you guys through some kitchen Easter decorations that I've put up. I'm also going to kind of reset up some things but look at how cute my little setup is. Got a little candle and some little teacups. I need to put in some fresh Easter eggs and just clean it all up. We have also just received a delivery. My husband is insane. So I did, come come with me, I did a video, which by the way, it has not moved. I laid out all of the Vinylmations and I do realize how long ago I did that video and yes, it's still there because I wanted to do it with you guys. So all of these Vinylmations are gonna go up on the shelves. I need to clean my office. I also need to clean my beauty room, which we're gonna do all of that today. We're gonna do like a spring cleaning. So let, let me show you what Andre did, but in the theme of spring cleaning, I'm gonna be launching in the fit gym because I'm going through it. We're gonna do a three week deep clean detox. So I'm of the mindset that when spring comes, I need a spring cleaning for the house and a deep cleaning for the house, but I also need one for my body. So I'm gonna be doing a cleanse. I'm gonna be taking the girls in the fit gym through a cleanse. I will leave all the details down below. It's gonna be a 21 day, three week cleanse. It is the most I was gonna say intense, it's intense in the sense of the benefits. It's not intense in the sense that you're starving yourself, there's no um, chaos in terms of like detoxing and being married to the washroom, you're fine, do not worry. I've gone through it twice, and Andre as well, and every time that I finish it, there's always like the most extreme results, not just in terms of my body, but my mindset, my clarity, like my vision, my gratitude levels, my happiness levels, like really, extreme in that sense and stuff that you never thought that you would tap into. So I'm gonna be announcing it on Instagram. You guys will see it, but I wanted you to hear it first. And the girls in the fit gym always have access to anything I launch now. There's a box on the floor and this is what we're gonna talk about. Andre slid into my DMs and there were a couple people that messaged me after that video about the vinyl nations and said, hey, I have some vinyl nations or some doubles or whatever. And he answered the messages and told me to stay out of it and I didn't know what he was doing. He just ordered us, I think this is like 150 vinyl nations, all individually wrapped. I have no idea what's in here. He told me to wait. He's downstairs doing a workout and he's like, you can't go through them without me. I don't think I have these. Like the, I haven't, oh, there's one that I do have. Like there'll be a couple doubles, but this is, he's, he's ridiculous. So this came all the way from Florida, this big box of vinyl, it's so heavy too. So I'm gonna lay that out with Andre in my office and kind of just create a new vibe in there. Um, the other thing that I did yesterday, so I had like a full beauty day this morning and yesterday. I colored, I've been coloring my own hair. Hopefully it looks okay. I'm not a pro, but listen, I'm just enjoying doing my own hair. I stay home, I don't have to go anywhere, and I just use like a dark ash brown color. You can see my setup. We are going through right now a three day little workshop and today is the final day and I'm gonna go live in a little bit. Um, we have Carl that's hanging out with us, so I need to finish decorating. I don't know if you can hear my Disney music going. By the way, I'm, I'm kind of over Sorcerer Radio. I know I shared it with you guys, but they just added advertisements midway through, so I'm back onto YouTube. It's like a Hollywood Studios. If you're new here, hopefully it's apparent by now that we love Disney. Do you guys wanna say hi to Carl? And then I'm gonna get changed out of my, by the way, this is a Disney robe. It's the most comfortable, I have a blanket just like it. It's the most comfortable thing of my life. Carl's having his breakfast. Carl, do you wanna say hello? You're being kind of rude, you don't wanna say hello to anybody? Okay. He loves his snuffle rug. If you have a dog that eats too quickly, or just like gets sick from eating too fast or just needs to slow down, a snuffle rug is the best thing ever. It's like the best purchase we've ever made. So I'm gonna get probably not even a face on, I'm not even gonna lie, I'm probably gonna stay like this so you'll have, you'll have my shiny dewy skin for the whole video. But we have a lot to accomplish today. I'm gonna take you guys through that Easter decoration stuff. Gonna unpack those vinyl missions, gonna clean my beauty room, gotta go live. You guys are coming with. I literally just posted this on Instagram for your opinions. These are what we're thinking for window treatments. So I was just sharing this, like we have really 
like see-through shears in this house like they're pretty sheer I want even more sheer for Florida so this is an Italian gauze style this one has some gray in it I'm almost thinking this one might be even better like just very beachy love it and then this would be a little bit more of a traditional this one's even more sheer this one's like a Belgian and this one has a little bit more beige in it and then there's a bunch of other options that they sent us that I have under here. So they're all from Restoration. So they put everything, you can hear the construction here next door. Lord help us, we're in construction all year long. Okay, these are a little bit, these are way more opaque and opaque, opaque, opaque. I'm French, it's not my, it's not my fault. Classic linen, like I just think some of these are way too yellow. Also see how it has a yellowy tint to it? Ooh, I can't do that. This is also thick. So I really think it's gonna be between these ones what do you guys think do you like the do you like the gauze or the more traditional style either way very beachy very cool i just think this is so neat i'm definitely i'm definitely biased but i'm going to pretend that i'm not <laughs> we used to have saturdays with peace and quiet that's gone gone are the days of quiet it's fine so <laughs> it's fine but it's not fine so a couple more pieces of decoration have been added and we're also going to go through the kitchen together today but listen we've been sharing this why is this out here this is part of the monopoly game we literally played this game yesterday the disney monopoly game you need it in your life listen if you like disney parks so good so i also shared this we brought this with us to the cottage also just bought this but you need three or more players so we'll wait till we have people over family feud and then we got so excited i was so excited for audrey to try this so did you ever play kerplunk as a kid like with all the marbles and you have to like pull out, it's kind of like Jenga, but with marbles and you pull out the sticks. I got a Disney version. So it's basically like the Buzz Lightyear with the bunny and the ducky from Toy Story 4. And it's way better than the traditional Kerplunk because they have hooks on their arms. It's legit. It, it gets really exciting and it's a lot less lengthy than playing a full game in a Monopoly. So Andre and I are into the board game things. We just order some charcuterie from Uber Eats put out our board games, have a glass of wine. It's phenomenal. So I'm gonna move these to the side and I'm going to continue decorating because I just got these canisters just arrived. My good friend Kelly sent these to me. So look how cute. There's like a boy and a girl bunny, but they're also candles. So I'm thinking they could stay over here, but I do wanna light them. Oh, there's no wick in this. Oh my gosh, the wick fell out. Maybe I could just cut it. Actually, that one's kind of florally. Let's see this one. Oh, this one has a wick. They're both kind of florally. Golden daffodil. Okay, maybe they'll just stay as decoration. They're pretty though. But you know what I love about these? You could use the candle, you can burn the candle, and then utilize the little canister. That's what I did with my eucalyptus one. Okay, I have so much to do today. And I'm about to go live in that group, and I still have all of my crinkle paper in my bin here. And by the way, if you guys did not see the last video where I did, do we love the grass? I'm, I love the grass. I'm very happy with the grass. So Andre needs to come down. Babe, he just finished his workout. I think he's having a shower. And we're gonna open up that box of vinyl mations and lay it out so that I can have more vinyl mations on my floor. It'll be a good time. Do any of you guys live in neighborhoods that have very curious neighbors? We have the most curious neighbors to the point where they'll like ring our doorbell and ask us questions about our house. And we're currently building next door. And there's literally people like, I almost want to film them because I feel like it's invasive. So I want to <laughs> invade them just as much. You know what I usually do? Like they're taking pictures of the house right now. I usually just let Carl out on the balcony. Carl, you want to come see? You guys want to see what I do? Makes them go away. Carl, come on. Ready? Attack! <laughs> Dude, be polite though. And they're gone. <laughs> Just makes it uncomfortable. How weird though, it's like, who just goes in front of someone's house and starts taking pictures? It happens a lot and I just feel, I don't like when my privacy is invaded. It's so strange. So on a good note, let's talk about Easter decorations. So I'm going to kind of rearrange everything, but I've put out like the bunny sign and I've kind of set up the tiered tray. Oh, I also put some grass on the, on the little tray here, on the little marble tray I'll show you. So I kind of want to just organize this, but I'm loving the sign and look at what I did. So I have these little Peter Rabbit cups that need to go away, but look at what I did with the grass. Isn't that so freaking cute? I'm obsessed. 
And then this is what I've got so far for the two. I wonder if it'll look better without the, yeah, that's a lot clearer. So this is what I've got so far for the tiered tray. Very happy with it. So cute. And so this is what I was talking about with doing like the little moss and then sticking the, the little picks from Michael's in there. And then I had some extra eggs left over, so I just filled it. And then these are little sprinkle miniature mason jars. And then of course I've got my Mickey shaped sugar cubes. So let's take this out. I always, by the way, always do this. I have a tiny little nebulizer that I put little essential oils in and I keep it behind the tiered tray. And then it's just kind of hidden back there. And then I usually have like a canister or something. So let's move this. That way you can kind of get the full cue, right? Not totally done, but you guys are gonna come with me along for the ride. Oh, Carl's ready to come back in. Did you tell them what you thought? Hello friends, please don't take pictures of my house. So this is the other setup that I've done. I definitely need to, like I said, fix some of the candy and everything, but I wanted to take out the Alice in Wonderland cups. And then I've got this new little fake succulent here. And then I've got a coconut cream candle going. And then the little tray, the little bunny is from Walmart from last year. All right, I'm just set up at my computer. Let's try and let's try and make ourselves presentable, Angie. Every single time that I film a video and I go to edit it, I'm like, did I not notice that my hair had like a piece sticking out? But you know what? We're real here. There we go again. <laughs> We're real here. It is what it is. At least you guys know I'm a normal human that is not, this is by no means a beauty channel and probably will never be. Even though I do love the makeup and the skincare. Do you want to come up with me? The it's ridiculous that I have to have a chair next to me for him to sit next to me. So I'm just setting up the three week deep clean detox announcement right now. So it's gonna go, it's gonna go up in the fit gym first and then I'm gonna put it up on Instagram and it's gonna go public, but you guys heard it here first, all the behind the scenes. The other thing I've been doing, I'm still, I'm still sticking with my bullet journals. I'm loving, so every single day, the way that I'm goal planning and setting, and by the way, I did a video of this. If you, a lot of you guys don't know this, I have a second channel. I feel like I should share that more. I have a vlog channel. Listen, these are all vlogs, but I just needed a name for it. So it's Angie Belmar Vlogs, and it's very much oriented around goal setting and planning and mapping out your life. And I talked about this in there. So it smells really good. What's that smell? It's me. <laughs> I thought it was Andre's shower. I was like, how does it smell that good? I thought it was him. No, it's just my deodorant. It is what it is. <laughs> I loved in the video that Andre and I did of the Disney house, like just our Disney house update, how Andre goes, and a lot of you guys noticed and were dying laughing how Andre went, oh, I thought I took care of it, but I didn't. <laughs> I really liked that video. So I am about to go live in about 30 minutes for my team. I'm going to do the daily grind, which if you guys don't know this, same thing on the other vlog channel that I have, I did 31 days of the daily grind publicly. And usually it's something that I do just behind the scenes for my team. Andre is ready. This is how we live our life. I'm like, babe, do you want to come down? Sure. What are we doing? We're unboxing the ample amounts of vinyl missions that you ordered for us. The doorbell literally just rang and he went, I got you something. And I thought he was joking. I thought it was just an Amazon delivery. He wants to go through it too. So we're gonna do that, unbox that, and then I'm gonna go live for my team. And then I'm gonna go through and probably clean the house and also take you guys through the finalized Easter situation, which it's pretty much, I'm very happy with it. I love the bar cart. This is one of my favorite bar carts and it also is very Ray Dunn centric. I think we've reached our quota on Ray Dunn in this entire house. Is that the best? <gasps> Are you, so Andre's like this. <gasps> Are you so happy? So excited. I do feel like any, mugs that I have doubles of though, we should gift them to our subscribers that equally love Ray Dunn because it is hard to get. Okay, you're excited? We're gonna go through this? We're gonna go through this. So these are all the vinyl nations from last time. And by the way, Andre, you're seeing your buddies tonight, eh? Do you wanna bring this to their, they have three little girls, wouldn't that be perfect? Maybe sure. Belle, Ariel, and Pocahontas? Sure. So that they're not, cause four then we're causing problems, but mm -hmm. three would be fine. Listen, you gotta leave me Vanellope though. Okay, sure. you wanna unwrap these? Do you yeah. want? Do you wanna get scissors? Get scissors. scissors. Carl's a part of it. So I'm thinking of setting these all up on the shelves in here and just making like a little Disney office situation. And then I had mentioned this in the video. I want to re, I want to do a new painting. So a Disney inspired painting for over there. If you guys have ideas, please let me know. Okay. 
How cool is that? Oh, that's so cool. Is this like a park series? It must be. That's so cool. Love that. Hall of Presidents Magic Kingdom. Yeah, that's freaking cool. You know what's ridiculous? We're not even American. We're like, oh my god. <laughs> Hall of Presidents. So many new ones. Oh my gosh, how am I going to display all of this? Carl, you look beyond guilty right now. What is this face that you're making? Where's your toys? Where's your toys, little buddy? Carl? Could your hair cut? Or lack of? Shimmery, not like looking, not glittering though. These shimmer eggies. That's cute. The display. A little touch of Disney. An industrial size <laughs> bag of noodles. All right, I filled up the other teacup. And by the way, there was a little chip on this. A little white chip. Just balance a little egg on there, and we're good to go. This is so cute. So this is like my favorite thing ever. I also have a Dumbo one. This candle smells amazing. It's all on a little cute board. Love it. This is what I want now. I'm gonna set up and go live right now. So I use, oh my gosh, I have to show you guys something that I use. It's almost embarrassing. So my hands get really cold. Like, it's so weird. Like my body, I'm always warm. Like it's still cold out. It's not super warm. It's like spring-ish, but the fact that I'm in a romper, I get is ridiculous. And whenever there's new subscribers, I always see the comments of like, why is she wearing that? And then you guys inform her or them that, you know, this is why she is wearing a romper. But my hands always get cold. So these are what I wear when I type on the computer and they're heated. So there's a little USB attached to them. There's like a little wire. If they were wireless, it'd be even better. But they're little French toasts and they keep my hands warm. <laughs> that's, what, that's what all those wires are. But this thing is so cool. So I usually just plug it into my computer. I actually just bought a bunch of them for my coaches. So I love that it's a USB. It also comes with an adapter that you can plug it into the wall. But the fact that there's a USB and I can just plug it right into my computer and turn it on and plug my phone in is like the best thing. So I'm gonna go live right now. So I think I'm pretty happy with this finished product. So this is one of the chicks that I got at Michael's and I just wrapped his feet, which are wire. I just wrapped them around the handle on the tiered tray. And then I have all these little miniature fake foam carrots that I filled this little marshmallow with. I love the yellow and I love the green Ray Dunn. Like it's just so different. So this one says egg hunt. And this is actually, by the way, tip, salt and pepper shakers make great little decoration pieces. These are little sprinkle mason jar is so cute so there's actually things in here so there is sugar in here and some sugar in here and i got these last year i think i got them for like 70 cents each of them and i think i have some more pieces actually let me check these are the ones that are waiting for summer so just to give you a little behind the scenes i always do like a honey and lemon kind of theme so those are waiting for me i got like a teacup up there so cute so this is the setup that I'm very happy with. So I've got my coffee machine and then this stackable, I love it. I use those almost every morning. And then here I just did a little plate on the grass. <laughs> it's so cute with the grass. So I just cut that extra piece that I had. It fit perfectly. And then I have a canister in the middle. It's just very spring. So I think what I'm gonna do is move this. This is from Michael's also. It's like a little jelly bean container. Move that there. Yeah. And then these little gnomes, they came in a pack of three. So I have a green one. The pink one with the dangly legs is here. By the way, how cute are the like Ray Dunn bunnies, little bunny eggs and everything. That little bunny cup is so cute also. So I'm happy with this. Love it. Do, what do you guys think? Do we love? This is my little coffee area. I'm going to show you the other tiered tray because of course we can't just have one. 
So this is the other part of the kitchen where we get ready. It's like our other coffee area, which we legitimately use. So this is our kettle that we use almost every day. I think we use it every single day. If you've been watching on Instagram, Carl's little puppuccinos in the morning, this is what I use. They're like little, look how small they are. They're like a miniature Ray Dunn. So here I've got this mug with the topper. I think this could be pushed back a little bit, yeah. So I put the chick in a little bowl and then I use the other little sprinkle mason jars in here. This is the yellow gnome that I was talking about. And then same thing, I filled this with that moss. It's called super moss, it's at Michael's. And then with some little frosted eggs. So there's three eggs in there. And then I just had these eggs that I had gotten in a huge bundle from HomeSense and I just put them in there. I Like I said, I love the yellow ones because they're just so much more rare, like it's just special. And then that same, you know the bunny mug that I had on the other end? I have a little chicken one also, which are so cute. I wonder if they still sell them. If they do, I'll link as much as I can down below. So this is the other tiered tray, which by the way, I will link the tiered trays that I have. They're so perfect and they fit, like they fit a Ray Dunn mug perfectly. Don't buy any small ones because you won't be able to fit anything on it. This is our little area. And by the way, there were so many of the carrots that showed up, so I just used them. They were in the last video, I think, in this little bowl, which I thought was so cute. And then it kind of ties in these little bunny rabbits with the carrots. Love it. I think I'm gonna watch Peter Rabbit again today. Sorry, not sorry. Got my garbage bag. Hairs up in a pony. By the way, cutest headbands and scrunchies from Sewing Sweethearts on Instagram. I freaking love her. I love all her stuff, and she's launching a new spring collection. And there's donuts included in it. I literally just placed my order. Okay, so I've done a little bit of cleaning today, a little bit of spring cleaning. We're gonna do, I think Andre and I are gonna do some deep spring cleaning. So we're gonna do the garage, we're gonna do his office, which you guys have never seen, so that could be fun. If that's stuff that you guys like to see, which I think it is, let me know. I've literally just cleaned Carl's washroom <laughs> with a fresh little pee pad for him. Do you guys have puppies that do that? I've got a little candle going. Okay, it's in hustle mode. So this is my beauty room, which I've just brought a bunch of stuff in here. A lot of different products. Um, look, like my, my shelves are literally filled with things. So I need to go through everything and just clean it all out. Let's turn this on. Ooh, by the way, the neon sign needs to come down. I feel like everybody and their mom now has a neon sign, which makes me not want mine anymore. So I might just not have anything there and just have my plants. I'm not sure. Or maybe like a cute sign. I don't know, what do you guys think? Leave it? I just I don't like whenever everybody else has things. Okay, so much to do in here. I'm looking at, like look at all the product. I'm just surrounded by products everywhere. So I'm going to go through these pieces one by one organize all of the drawers and bins that I have. I actually have a bin in here for giveaways. I love just randomly sending you guys stuff. I always send stuff to the girls in the fit gym too, just as they're crushing it. So you guys, if you loved the vlog style, come with me a bajillion things bundled into one video, which I love. Like I love a good decorate with me, but I love you guys being able to see what we truly do in a day. By we, I mean Andre and I, and just being a part of it all. So I am now going to grab my cuppy, which so many of you guys have asked about my my little Mickey straw, th what, Mickey straw, I guess you would say. I'll link it for you guys, but the cuppy is from Starbucks, which I think you can on eBay, so I'll try and link it for you guys also. Mm. I'm gonna probably have a margarita today and set up in here and maybe watch something on my laptop as I'm cleaning. And I'll show you guys the finished product on Instagram probably. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes. Tell me.